Okay, guys, welcome back to the Adventures of Well, um, Me's Let's Play of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Today we'll be attempting our mission that we failed in the last episode. Um, and we'll just see how we go with that. Um, in between the two episodes, I did actually go and take the items out of our storage and swap some things around, and I thought it would be best if I just skip over that rather than make you watch me go through a few button presses here and there. Anyway, we'll take another shot at Mount Steel. We'll rescue Diglett no matter what it takes. That's the spirit. Oh, sorry, that's the spirit. The peak is ninth floor. Thank you for helping. Farewell. Okay. Well, here we go. So pretty much, I took out two Reviver Seeds from our storage, and I put a few of the berry items that we have back into storage, so we can pick up plenty of items along the way. And now that we know how to use these moves to their fullest, we can use Type Advantage. And look at that, Toothy has leveled up to level 10 already at the start of this episode. Yeah, leveled. Okay, that's a great start, actually. Uh, and see, we just picked up a cherry berry there after we've already just dropped one off at ooh, at the um, storage place. Well, let's take out this bell toy pretty quickly with the help of Toothy here, who is missing. Not really helpful. Okay. We have to get nine floors in this area to actually beat this mission. So, let's see how far we can get. Let's hope we don't... Um, have the misfortune of failing yes again because I'm really not in the mood for attempting this one mission over and over again. But it looks as though our defenses have increased a little bit and these attacks are not doing nearly as much damage as they did in the previous episode. So that's not too bad. Although we are getting tail whipped. So that may have been a bit of a... Um, issue in the last episode there with our defense falling, which I did not actually consider. Anyway, moving on, what have we got here? Oh, let's attack this spear in the corner because nobody puts baby in the corner. I'm not sure Siri's starting again. This happened at last episode. I think she just wants some love or something. I don't use her enough. Here we go, continuing on to the second floor of Mount Steel Hill. Oh look, a gummy! We have an orange gum- I stepped on an orange gummy. Okay, apparently I do not have any room. Um, what can we do? Let us... Eat the cherry berry for no apparent reason. And then pick up the orange gummy, which... I think... I'll eat it. We learned the PP checker through an IQ skill. That is pretty cool. So the gummies just allow us to improve the IQ of generally artificial intelligence. It's generally what it does. It yeah. It doesn't always give us the best um I suppose move sets or anything. I mean it does help us uh, gain experience faster, I think, in some cases. From memory. Don't quote me on that, guys. I don't know. But, um, things like that. Just, it helps boost little areas along the way. Um, that, you know, help you to, um, get through the mystery dungeons as you progress. It's good to use the gummies as much as possible. And if you don't have room for them in, you know, an item bag, it, I would suggest, personally, that you just, um, Remove an item, pick up the gummy, and then, like, eat it, or give it to, um, your partner to eat. Just so one of you actually do benefit from it, and it doesn't go to waste, because they're not easy to come across. There we go, Ember is putting in the work for us. That is awesome. Really strong move, I, I didn't realise that. Like, I suppose in this game, like, starting off, it's a really strong move, being a, a special type move. Fire, damage, and everything. I 
55 damage. That's like, yeah, that's massive. Let's see, what, what will it do on this one here? 35. Okay, so it might have been just like a critical hit just in that last shot. We'll just get some more experience off these Beltway because they keep coming to us pretty much. Okay, here's that another Beltway coming our way. So we may as well take him out. And what I did not even read what that said it was going to do. Okay, it would be handy if I paid a bit more attention to the words in this game. Rather than just wanting to go through... Oh, look, another orange gummy. Oh, we stepped on it. Okay, another item. What can we do? What can we do? Uh, let's just eat the orange berry. I don't know what else we could do. Pick up the orange gummy and let's eat this orange gummy. Our IQ went up a little bit. Which is always handy. It's good to have our IQ go up. We like to be intelligence... Intelligent... Tarmander. It helps if you don't get tongue-tied. We like to be intelligent Charmander. There we are. That is what I was trying to say, guys. Okay. Continue on. Get some more experience from these Beltway along the way because it is handy. <clears throat> okay, what is this? An escape of... Ooh. That's Cool. Okay. There we go. Taking out the Aeron. And there is nothing in this room there. And continuing down, what have we got along this bottom corridor here? Just a beltway to run into by the looks of it. You scratch. Take it out in one hit. Always handy. And let's try and get a good hit on this uh, Aeron here as well with the scratch. What does this do to it? 16? Oh, it's not that effective. Type advantages and disadvantages. Got to consider that when we do attacks. But, hey, it wasn't going to take us out by the looks of it. None of them have done significant damage to us so far in this dungeon. It was the bell toy that I was worried about. And I attacked the wall. I don't know why. Just because I did. Didn't mean to. Sorry guys, need a drink there. Throat was getting a bit dry. Okay, now continuing on, here we go. What have we got? We've got staircase there, which we'll skip for a second, and we'll just head up to see if there is anything in this room here of any significance, which there isn't, but we will stand on the tile there just to make sure we haven't got any negative status effects on our Pokemon. Okay, take out the Zigzagoon here. There goes my dog again. She's going crazy today. She barks at pretty much everything that walks past the house. And in the middle of the night, she goes out and barks at the sky. I have no idea why. She just does it. Okay, let's throw a gravel rock and show you what that does. I can't remember if I've shown you previously. There you go, that's what it does. <laughs> does significant damage at least at this point in the game. Later on, you kind of get to really high leveled um, enemies. It does nothing. Okay. Oh. And another bell toy here, which we could use an ember on. And we missed. Great! There we go, let's use another ember. We missed again. Seriously? Okay, we're just wasting PP now. Scratch. Scratch hit. Okay, that's good. Okay. Let's throw another gravel rock because I cannot be bothered dealing with this bell toy. There we go. Taking it out. Um, another wonder tile. Our stats return to normal. Good to know. Well, what did we just run past? A gravel rock and a beltway. Going to use harden on us here. That's alright. We can live with that. At least it didn't confuse us or anything. We'll pick up the gravel rocks there. Always handy to have in our bag. Our adventuring case, toolbox, whatever it was called. 
that was a really, 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 really strong standard tackle or whatever it was that just did on me. And I'm just going to use a tail whip, which I will counter with scratch. Not taking out the zigzagoon after all. But the second hit there did. And is this another escape orb? Hell orb. Hell orb. That's weird. Let's give an Auron Berry to Toothy. And I return it. Let's eat the apple. And we can throw another Gravel Rock at this Zigzagoon here. Taking it out, getting some more experience on the two of us. And we will continue to the next floor, which is floor number four. Five, and I pressed B by mistake. Floor number five of nine. This is a longer dungeon for sure. Um, man, it feels like it's going forever. I guess that it's one thing about this game that is, I suppose, something that you have to consider. It does get very repetitive. There are a lot of the same things that you encounter over and over and over again in the game. Um, like, it's not a bad thing, it's just you can't play large doses of the game. I mean, you could. And probably plenty of people that do. But just in my experience alone, playing, like, playing for long periods of time with this game, it just gets repetitive. You need to kind of just do short bursts, do one dungeon at a time if you can, or, you know, a few of the shorter missions at the earlier dungeons once you're, um, higher level. Because I think that's the struggle. When you're a low level, all the dungeons can be difficult. But when you're a higher level, you can go through one of the um, starting dungeons in just, you know, a few a few minutes. Man, are our stats really that bad? No, they're not. That's bizarre. We were taking so much damage from that zigzagoon there. Alright, anyway, moving on. Let's get some pokey here. Because we like being a rich boys. Us. Torch and Toothy. We like to go out in the town. Occasionally we like to, um... Hit up the clubs and waste all our money. <laughs> On our drinks. I don't know. What would Pokemon do? What would, what would be the nightlife of Pokemon? I have a lot of friends that go out clubbing. So what would be the equivalent of my friends going out and clubbing in the Pokemon world? Going out and doing gym battles? I don't know. I'm really curious now what a Pokemon would do. What people in the Pokemon would do for a night out on the town. He threw an Aurora Berry at us, which landed on the ground. That was so helpful. <laughs> okay, if he had have just attacked and helped us take out the Zigzagoon, it would have been so much better. Let's use a move. Let's use Scratch on this Zigzagoon. Oh, I only did not tell. The growl, I forgot about that. Let's go back onto this wonder tile. There we go. Our stats have returned to normal. We'll continue to floor number six. And we have a Metatite right there. Scratch. Okay. Oh, and a Tyro. Alright, right, let's, let's swap. Because I hope Toothy can take it, but... Oh, man! There we go, finally. Um... I wonder if I can do an ember through the wall here. Yes, I can! Okay, that was helpful. 
And I'm going to swap the Toothy because we don't want to lose him. And let's use an Ember. Take out the Meditite. Because we do not want to buy it to go off on us. I don't have anything that can restore PP, do I? Ah, oh, Beldum. Okay, let's avoid that for now. What have we got here? Escape Orb and Warp Orb. No idea what either of them do. Um, let's use Scratch. And a regular Tackle Attack, or whatever that is. Oh, it's going to take two. Okay, so as you can see, as you go through the dodges, the um, wild Pokemon start to get high level. Oh, Max Alexa, okay. I just want to see if we can boost that up. Okay. Item, what can we use? Let's use... Let's eat an apple. Take the Max Alexa. And eat the Max... Ingest the Max Alexa. There we go. That's what it's called in this. Okay, and we can use an Ember on this Thaldum then. Because it will be super effective. Gaining us some experience and taking it out. Oh, and a gummy. Gummy, gummy, gummy. The white gummy. Item. Ting. Toothy. Can I make... No, he doesn't eat it. Oh, there we go. Okay, and now Truthy has learnt PP Checker. Which is going to come in handy. Oh, I guess. Actually, I don't know if that's going to be coming in handy or not. I don't know if it's worth it. No, I just can't think. PP Checker, what would PP Checker actually do? That's my question. What would actually do? What would you benefit from it? Would it check how much PP the enemy has left with a move? Or what? Uh, that's... Or does it save you people? I'm going to have to look that up later on. I won't do it just yet because I would like to get out of this dungeon for you guys sometime soon rather than continue just walking around in it forever. What can we do to this um, Minnesota here? Let's use an ember. Take it out, get some experience. Always handy. Oh, and then another one. That's our. Truthy took it out. Pinsa. There's something we haven't seen just yet. Let's use an ember on it and get rid of it straight away. Because we are not in the mood to deal with the Pinsa. I mean, imagine that. That would be a stronger Pokemon in this kind of realm if you look at the way it looks. I know. I, just, I feel that the Pokemon in these games, it's not so much um, necessarily type advantage or the actual Pokemon's base stats like it is in the regular Pokemon games. I feel like a lot of it is to do with the look of the Pokemon and just kind of, um, I don't know, appreciation that certain Pokemon may have gotten in the anime or manga that other Pokemon don't get in the um, normal Pokemon games, per se. I feel that Pinsa is one of those Pokemon that can be both loved and hated at the same time. Like, you have that select few that absolutely love it. But then I find a lot of people, at least that I know when I've spoken to them, don't really like bug Pokemon. They just, I don't know, they, they just think the bug Pokemon are weak because they're just bugs. I mean, I've always liked the look of Pinsa. I thought Pinsa was awesome. But... That's just me, and I'm not everyone, so... And I can't judge everyone saying that everyone doesn't like Pinsa, because... I just, I remember very early on in the, um, the anime, 
there was that episode with the pincer and the Metapod face-off between Ash and um, Bugcatcher. I love that episode. I have no idea what it was about that episode, but I've always remembered it. I remember I had it on video when I was quite young, on the VHS. Um, and yeah, that was one of the episodes I always remembered. Always remembered, because it was quite a good episode too. But um, yeah, I just feel Pinter hasn't had much love since that episode. I mean, he got, he's got a mega evolution now. Which is cool, he's got a mega evolution. That means you're getting somewhere in life if you get a mega evolution in Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not qualified to actually state that as a, as a real thing. You can get somewhere in life if you have a mega evolution. I'll leave that up to the Pokemon company to decide what is really the case. Um, let's give the orange gummy to toothy here, and then, oh, that's not what I wanted to do, what am I wanting to do, um, then I want to go to toothy, you know, what did I do last time, I went to items, and I went toothy's items, and I want him to use the orange gummy, and his IQ went up somewhat, which is always handy, we want his IQ to actually do go up. Reaching the Pokey, the 118 Pokey, that's alright, not bad, not bad. Getting rich, getting rich. And we get the 86 Pokey that that Tyro picked up earlier. Oop, I'm coming across another Aeron, how many Embers do I have left? 10, okay. Because I'm, I'm just trying to think, if we have to fight Skarmory, I would like some Ember. It would come in handy to have some Ember on us. There we go, taking out that pincer there. Okay, I was gonna say, if we come across the stairs down here, I'm just gonna go into them. Turns out, we weren't gonna come across them. So we do have to go back all the way across the other side of the um, dungeon here, trying to find this staircase to the next level. And yes, oh, oh, Siri just keeps thinking I'm talking to her. Yeah, <laughs> that is rather annoying. Next time I'm going to unplug my phone so it doesn't do that when I'm recording, because that's three times in two episodes that it's been doing it. Anyway, I want to make sure that I have some good moves in case we have to fight Skarmory as, like, a boss battle, because I do think they can get quite tricky from memory. Let's have a look. Here we go. I've reached the peak. Is there anything that we have to do here? Look, George Diglett's over there. How does a Diglett get over there like that? Even though Skarmory's got it, how does it get there? Like, it's a Pokemon that buries in the ground. Hey! Are you alright? We're here to rescue you. I- I'm scared. You! What do you think you're doing here? We've come to rescue Diglett! Hey, Skarmory, quit doing this and release Diglett. How dare you? It's their fault. I haven't slept in days because the earthquakes frightened me so. Every night we had them. Those earthquakes are caused by this brat's ilk running wild underground. Whoa, well, that's not true. Sure, there have been quakes galore lately. But it would take more than Diglett's family running wild under the ground to set off a quake. You be quiet. We'll fight if you keep that up. It's useless. Skarmory is too steamed to talk reasonably. <clears throat> We're going to have to fight. <coughs> okay, like I was saying, boss battle. But because we have a type advantage, it hopefully won't be too bad on us. 40 damage right there. And it's going to use a peck. Which I think we can live another one. There we go. Two embers and it's down. We get 332 experience points. Which is amazing. That levels us up quite a lot. Grr. I can't keep up. I'll flee for now. Hey. We sent Skarmory Pack it. You're safe now. Come on down. I can't. I'm too scared to move. Okay. No sweat. 
We'll go to you. Just wait. Whoa. Wow, this is some cliff. I can't see the bottom. Torch, what'll we do? We can't get across this. <laughs> hey, it's those Magnemite from that rescue. We got word of this. We can rescue Diglett from the sky. Hold on to us tight. <laughs> Don't be scared. We won't make the mistake of zapping you. <laughs> oh, I was very scared. Maybe because I was somewhere up so high. My feet feel like they're still walking on air. Feet? He has them? Feet? That was the internal voice of a Magnemite. It sounds different to how they actually speak. Oh, well, you're safe now. Good thing, huh? Yes, thank you very much. Oh, you've been rescued. Great, great. Ready? Huh? What was that? Who said that? Whoops, you can't see us. That's terribly rude of us. Boop. Hello, Doug Trio here. Oh, Papa. Diglett, you had us worried. You're not hurt. Nope, it was scary, but I'm alright. It's all thanks to Torch's team. Thank you for everything. You're heroes. If you want to thank anyone, thank our Magnemite friends. We couldn't have done this rescue on our own, right? Oh, how rude of us. Thank you so much. No, no. I'm sorry. No, no. It was the only thing to do. And how both our evolved forms are joined trios. I felt a certain kingship. After all, Pokemon must help each other. I'm impressed. Sincerely, thank you. We must be going, Torch. Toothy. Thank you. Farewell. We got 500 Perky, Pekascarf, Jingsen. <clears throat> we'll be on our way to... Wait a sec, hold on! What is it? Listen, um... How would you like to join us? Join your team? Yeah. We couldn't have done the last job if you weren't around, Magnemite. I thought we'd need more help for re doing rescues in the future. Hey, Torch. You think so too, right? Yes, more members than needed. So come on, how about it? Join our rescue team, what do you say? Rescue team, that sounds fun. But if you need us to rush over to rescues, we need somewhere to live close by. Is there anywhere we can live in this area? Um, well... Oh, there isn't too bad. Sorry, but we can't join you. See you. Bzz, bzz, bzz. That is too bad. I guess we need somewhere Pokemon can live if we want them to join the rescue team. I know. Let's go to the Pokemon Square tomorrow. There's this interesting shop called the Wigglytuff Club. It wasn't open the other day when we went to the square. It might be open tomorrow, though. The shop is next to Felicity Bank. Usually Wigglytuff is there. We might be able to get some useful information there. Alright, so that's what we'll do tomorrow. We'll go down to the Pokemon Square. And that, my friends, is where we'll call an end to this adventure today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Click that button right down below there. I'd really, really, really appreciate that. Anyway, comment in the comments se what, section below any feedback or suggestions that you might have for this channel. Keep watching because the new update schedule that I have created is on its way. Anyway, thanks again, guys, and I will see you next time.